Happy Friday, lover. Get dressed. We have plans with the street. Come on. It's Friday night. It's basically summertime. If you know it, you should know. Between the months of April and November, we are in the streets. I have been delayed with being in the streets because for whatever reason in Indiana, y'all, it's just now getting warm outside. It's been like not cold, but it ain't been like summer warm, flirty weather. So it's just now getting that way. So anyways, we have plans with ourselves. We're gonna beat my face together, we're gonna get dressed together, and then we're gonna roll out. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm gonna go somewhere that's doing R&B music, and I'm specifically going out on Friday because for whatever reason, here in Indianapolis, most of the spots do R&B on Fridays, and Saturdays is more like a hip hop. You guys already know, I'm not really a hip hop girl, I'm in love, so I like to listen to R&B. Our drink for tonight is my usual. This is my 9.99 tequila that I buy from Kroger, mixed with my Bay Bridge three. No, y'all, they raised the price, and that's four dollar Moscato in the flavor. I think I have the mango in here. They have four flavors. They have peach, strawberry, mango, and original. All of them are delicious, and all of them are four. Maybe it's still three dollars. You can't remember if they raised the price or not. No, it's three dollars. Walmart has a uh, more affordable. Moscato brand for four dollars. It does taste good too, but if I can get for a dollar cheaper at Kroger, that's what I'm gonna do. I have a couple new products that we are gonna try together. Yay! We're gonna do my eyebrows, prep my eyes, and then we're gonna get started on my complexion. The product that I'm using for my eyebrows is Wet n Wild Stackable Brow Pencil. I showed this to you guys in my last Get Ready With Me, so I'm not using any new products for my brow. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to carve out my eyebrows and prep my eyelids. Eyebrows are done, eyelids are prepped. Time for a complexion. To prime my face, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer plus 4% Niacinamide. For complexion, we are gonna be using a foundation that I really enjoy. This is NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation in the shade 15 Warm Honey. Now, if you remember when I bought this foundation, it's too orange for me. It took me a couple wears, y'all, to figure out it was too orange for me. And I finally got myself some blue concealer. When you're done with a foundation that's too orange or yellow for you, mixing with a blue pigment will help neutralize the orange and yellow tones that you're seeing in that foundation. So this is gonna be my first time using these two together. I used this with something else. I can't remember what I used it with, but it worked on that. So let's go. I bought it for this, but uh, I don't know what I had going on that day that I didn't use these two together. So we're gonna use them together today and see how it goes. I'm gonna mix these together before I apply them to my face just to make sure it's gonna be the right color. And so this is what I have. I mix a little bit in there. I'm gonna apply it like this. And then I'm just gonna do it to one side of my face. So then if I need to make adjustments, I can, it'll be easier. Now I'm seeing that it matches up here, but it doesn't match right here. I'm gonna blend it in and see if it matches better. Cause I really like this foundation, but unfortunately they do not make my shade. I would have to buy another foundation and mix those two together. And if I'm not mistaken, this foundation was like $14 or $12 or something like that. But you guys already know I'm on a budget. This blue concealer was only $5 and five below. So it's blended out. This is it on one side of my face and this is my, that's my face that's bare. Now in my opinion, it's a little light, but it matches. I blend further down. We can get away with that. I think that works. So let's put it all over the rest of my face. All right. Now, the lighting in the camera looks a little off, but the lighting I'm seeing in my mirror looks really good. And what I really like about this foundation, y'all, do you see the blur that it's doing for me? I'm poreless. Like, I really enjoy this foundation. If you haven't tried this foundation, definitely do. It's really good. And they even came out with a sunscreen. It's a Bear With Me Blur sunscreen. And I've heard good things about that product as well. Next, I'm going to put down my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Bond. I think when I did my last Get Ready With Me, I told you guys how I reversed how I do my highlighting now. So before I used to put my light concealer and my fawn down together and let them sit down and dry. Now I put my fawn, which is basically the same color as me, down first, let that dry down and then blend that out and then go back on top with my lighter shade concealer. I don't even let it dry down. I just put it on there and I blend it out and I like how that looks better. You'll see today if you didn't watch my last Get Ready With Me and see if you can see how bright and natural it looks. And I'm also gonna go ahead and contour my nose with my palette I use all the time, my Black Radius True Complexion Contour Palette in shade medium to dark. 
I can't remember if last time we chatted, I showed you guys how I tried to find a new bronzer, aka contour. Now I was on the hunt for that NYX butter bronzer. I finally found it at uh, Ulta, of course. But before I found it at Ulta, I ran across a YouTube video of a creator basically saying that the NYX butter bronzers undertones are too red. And so because of that, they make beautiful blushes and eyeshadow. But he said for like deeper tones. I haven't really considered myself a deeper tone. I'm like an in-between, you know, I'm brown. Maybe so my work on me. So, I went into Ulta, they had testers, thank goodness, and sure enough, that man was right. It was a bit, way too red. It was not going to look good as a bronzer. It definitely would have looked better as a blush or a um, eyeshadow. You guys already know, I have enough blushes as it is. I didn't need another one, especially since I wanted it to be a bronzer, and I also have enough eyeshadow. So I didn't get it, so I just went and got my Old Faithful again from uh, Target. I noticed that some minutes had passed. My foundation is oxidizing. And now, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is a perfect skin match. I use not a lot of this because the way I was mixing it, y'all, I wasn't really getting that much product out. I should have mixed it on the back of my hand and did the piece by piece. This works, like I feel like it works. It's gonna be dark in there, so no one's really gonna be able to see my face anyways. I am gonna take pictures though. Speaking of pictures, y'all, I have fallen off of my bandwagon of being good on Instagram. Y'all, I don't know what happened. I was posting consistently since January. For whatever, in May, I only posted, I haven't posted since May 8th. I'm supposed to be focusing on reels, but I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm like a piece of like, on a new challenge or take on a new goal like being an Instagram model, I, you know, do my research, I have to educate myself on how to be successful in that space. And y'all, the things I was learning sounded like a lot of work. And y'all know I already got what I got going on on YouTube, so I'm like, that's like a gift job, like, so I'm like, maybe I'll just stick to posting pictures. I keep hearing that you're not gonna grow just posting pictures, you gotta post reels. So I'm like, oh Lord. So I'm like, well, what reels will I post, y'all? I'm gonna do it. So let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me post real wise on Instagram and Facebook, y'all, because I know a few people, not personally, well, no, I do know a few, know a few people personally who are making bank on Facebook for my like their creator rewards program or something. You don't make anything on Instagram. So I really should be focusing on me and the Facebook, but you know, fine. So what you post on Instagram, post it on Facebook. So that is what I need to remember because I need these coins. I need these internet dollars for my future twins. While all this is setting now, we're going to do my eyes. Up in rotation is this beautiful palette from Pro Season, my Nude Bliss palette. I'm 100% sure I've shown this to you guys before. For whatever reason, y'all, every time I get ready to do a Get Ready With Me, I'm always using a palette that you guys have already seen. I used to do get ready with me chit chats all the time, and then you know I pivoted my content. So now I just try to do a get ready with me like one month or a vlog once a month, just so we can get caught up with each other. I have no clue what I'm wearing. When I went out last month, I think it was, I wore black. And then y'all, when I'm thinking back, when I'm looking back at my pictures, I did not like my outfit. I don't know what was going on. I feel like I looked so much cuter. I don't know what was going on, so tonight I'm trying to prove a point to myself that I still have it. I still have the je ne sais quoi to be a baddie. So because of that, I want to do like a cute eyeshadow look, but nothing too much. So I think I'm going to use this Dusty Mauve all over the lid and then this beautiful um, glitter shade Captive just in the inner corner. This is what the pink shimmer looks like on my finger. Y'all, this looking like it's gonna be kind of cute. We're just gonna do the inner corner. Ooh, y'all, look. Ooh, that's pretty. And the texture of it feels like glitter, but not like glitter, if that makes sense. Like, feels like glitter eyeshadow. It's smooth, so when I was filling into it, I'm like, even gonna show up. So, I'm actually happy that it's showing up like this. We're gonna just blend the edges, blend it into that mauve shade that I put down. And y'all, look how it blends. Oh, this blends really nicely. I'm kind of shocked by that. These are done. This is our mascara for tonight. This is L'Oreal's Telescopic Lift. I've been using this for a few months. And every time I use it, y'all, it just gets better and better. I did already curl my lashes. We have a nice base to build upon. Time to blend out the concealer on my face. I'm going to wake it back up with my e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Y'all, I really like this. I'm in my dewy makeup phase. I've been in my dewy makeup phase for a little while. When I first got into doing like finding stuff, Matt was in. So 
I use really into my matte foundations. I still do use a matte foundation, but I use glowy products with it. Kind of like work hand in hand to give me the dewy look that I like. Now we're gonna top that off with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Tawny. I'm gonna place Tawny everywhere that I place Fawn. We're not gonna wait for that to dry down, but we are gonna put another little spritz of my setting spray on there. And we're going to blend for our life. While we're blending, I'm giving you a cute little update on my life. So you guys, so if you remember last year, 2023, the kid was going hard in the paint, at least in my mind, trying to get out of credit card debt and get out of my auto loan. Well, not really get out of my auto loan, but pay my auto loan down. Y'all, as you know, I was not successful. But guess what, y'all? Jesus has found a way. It is June, you know, we're halfway through the year. I'm out, well, I'm halfway, well, no. I'm like three fourths of the way out of credit card debt. I only have one credit card that is maxed out, technically, in the eyes of the credit card company. Um, but all my other ones, I think I have five more or six more, are all paid off in the eyes of the credit bureau. So basically, I think I told you guys about this last time when I was talking about my credit card and how I was gonna try to get myself out of debt. What I have finally been able to do, what I've been trying to do, is just put my paycheck on my credit cards and just use my credit card instead of using my debit card. I was not able to do that last year because for whatever reason, I kept getting my paycheck so late in the month, like 24th in the month. I'm not gonna hold you guys this before. I don't have a set pay schedule. I get paid once a month, I just don't know what day. So <laughs> that really means like I need to be disciplined in what I'm doing and all types of stuff, y'all. So by the grace of the Lord, I have been able to I need to do in regards to that. So I'm so thankful. So then when it comes to my car, last year I owed eight thousand. So of course, fast forward, I owe half of that now. So I owe four thousand dollars now on my car. So. I'm trying to pay it off this month. Yes, y'all. I owe $4,000. I currently still owe them for last month and I owe them for this month. Um, I'm still trying to formulate my plan of how I'm going to make essentially $3,000, basically $3,200 in a month to pay this car. Because I'm determined to pay this car down and then get me a Beamer by October, December. So we're going to see how that goes. So put your prayers in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, put those in the comments as well. Because I'm already wearing a pink eyeshadow. This blush here, my LA Colors Cream to Gel Blush in the shade Admirable. I feel like it will be a good match. This is something else new I started doing, y'all. I just started doing this, I think, this week. Is while I still have cream on my face, I'll use my cream blush. And then sometimes, if I'm feeling real fancy, I'll use my cream bronzer, which is from Elf. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that cream bronzer before. But that's the only one I'm feeling fancy. Do I use the bronzer? And I have found that doing it that way, my blush literally lasts all day. Like I don't have to touch up my blush at all. I love that for me. This is the brush that I use to blend out my brush. Surprisingly y'all, this is a blush brush. I used to use this to set my concealer, but now that I do my blush this way, I have found that this brush works the best for keeping the blush on my face instead of like melting in with the rest of the product on my face. Like if I started doing this Monday or Tuesday or whatever day that was, I found that no matter what brush that I used, even if it was clean and never had touched any of the makeup, it all just kind of muddy together. Not even muddy together. Just my blush kind of faded into the background with my foundation. So I was like, I don't understand the reason why people use cream blush at this point. But that was a go. It's the brush that I'm using. So ever since I switched brushes and started using this brush, I've been getting better results. You see that? You see how pretty that looks? So now we're gonna go on to our setting powders. I have two new setting powders that we're gonna be using. And if I'm not mistaken, I used these in my last Get Ready With Me. I only use these when I'm going out. I do not use these for work. I use my work every day when wild powders. These only get used for going out or on vacation. These are my multi powders. This one is the translucent powder, and this one is the brightening pink powder. And y'all, I am a fan of the brightening powders. I've gotten on the train, and now I'm finding out that they have all types of shades. They have lavender, they have orange, they have like a honeysickle. 
um, brand One Size just came out with, if I'm not mistaken, three or four new shades, like a Marigold and some other shades. I'm like, ooh, I may need to try those out because he does make them in many forms. Got both of these for $12 at Ulta. Do y'all see that brightening? Y'all, this is so beautiful. Not only is it brightening, it's blurring. So this powder is working in hand in hand with my NYX Blurry Foundation to give me a poreless finish. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I only use my pink powder under my eyes. I see my highlighted areas, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Banana Powder. Then for my other areas that do not have highlighter on them, I'm going to use my Morphe Transparent Powder. I really like this powder as well. I feel like it does a really good job at blurring just like the pink powder. I really like the finish of it. And I also like to go over my blush with the Mimimus powder on my powder puff just so I can set it down a little bit. Right now that looks like a powder donut, like dust some of that powder off. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and bronze me up and figure out what we're gonna wear. All right, y'all, let's figure out what we're gonna wear. I got out one of my bins. If you're new here, I do a rotation with my going out clothes. So between dresses and two-piece sets, and then also within the dresses and two-piece sets, we have prints and we have solids. When I went out, whatever that was a month ago, whatever it was, I had on a black solid dress. So that means this week we need to be in a printed two-piece set, and then when we go out again next, will be in a printed dress. Here's one of my options, y'all. I think I wore this two or three years ago. And then before I wore it then, I had had it for like two or three years. I bought this in like 2019. This cutie is from Forever 21 online. This was not available in stores. Now, if you ever shop on Forever 21, you may have items that are only available online. This was one of them. Actually, y'all, back in like 2018, 19, whatever that year was, I was obsessed with Forever 21 because they had recently added Afterpay. And I was obsessed with Afterpay, y'all. I had so many Afterpays with Forever 21, Fashion Nova. That's why I have a lot of Fashion Nova and Forever 21 just so, so much. So this is option number one, and this is option number two, which I can't recall if I've showed you guys this before. This cutie here, her name is Giselle. She is from my brand Bronze Doll. This outfit, I think I debuted three years ago, or two, yeah, I think this was three years ago. This outfit is amazing, y'all. Look at that stretch in the skirt, and then the top is just so cute. It's extremely flattering. The top is so long that I'm able to tuck it into the skirt and make it look like a dress if I don't want to show any midsection, or I could just ruffle it up to show some midsection. So we're gonna put these both on and see which one is the winner. For my hair, I'm gonna do my bang. I did work out in this hair, so it does have a slight wave to it. I do not feel like straightening my hair. It's about 11 o'clock and I want to leave it at 11.30. So my hair is just gonna look how it looks. I'm gonna brush my banging out. I'll show you guys the final look of All right, here's the outfit on. I think it is really cute. I think shoes wise, I would do my stripper heels. Let me grab my stripper heels. All right, here is the look on with my stripper heels. It's really cute. It's giving my festival land. I like it with my banging. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. So let's put on option number two and see how we feel about this. All right, this is Giselle. I paired it with my nude minis. Normally, I would probably do black. My black go-to shoes, aka my black minis, y'all. I wore those since she's into the ground. My taps have worn out. They worn out last year. I caught myself trying to repair it, y'all. I bought pliers and everything. Could not figure it out. So I'm supposed to take them to the shoe repair to get them fixed. I haven't done that yet. I was supposed to do that last year. I need to get those fixed. My chocolate brown minis, I need to get those fixed as well. As well as my red Adas. My red Adas, I've showed those to you guys before. I have like five different colors. Those, my Adas are not that comfortable, but since I've been wearing heels for so long, I can make it work. All right, so I'm kind of torn now. I don't know which one I like more. It's just a simple Friday, so either or would work. So I guess it would depend on how much color I'm feeling. But in this outfit, this will go with my, my current Instagram grid, which is gonna be blacks, whites, and neutrals. So I think we're gonna go with this outfit. Now we just need to figure out what bag we're gonna do. I don't know if I should do a bag to match the shoes or if I should do a black bag, a white bag. So let's figure that out. All right, so here it is with a black bag. I think it might look better with a bag that's lighter. I don't have a bag that's the same color as my shoes though. At least I don't think I do. All right, y'all, what do we think about this? So I have this cute little bag from Timu. 
with the nude shoes. And y'all, now that I think about it, I wore this outfit last September, just like this with the nude shoes and this bag because like I said, my go-to black shoes were out of commission. So now I'm like, I took pictures in this, but then again, I don't think I posted them anywhere. So now I'm thinking, should I change or should I just not take pictures? I probably just won't take pictures. I don't know, cause I don't feel like changing. So this is probably gonna be the look. So let's accessorize and put our jewelry on. Since I'm wearing tans, I feel like tans are very close to gold. So we're gonna do gold accessories. I have this very cute Nine West watch. We're gonna make a stack tonight. How cute. For a little bit of color, I'm gonna add this wannabe Van Cleef Clover bracelet from Shein. All right, here it is. This is what we're working with so far. I think I'll add my wannabe Diamonds tennis bracelet. This too also came from Shein. This came in a pack of two. It came with gold and silver. And y'all, you cannot tell me these don't look like real diamonds. They're so pretty. Here is our stack. Now let's put some earrings on. We'll grab some earrings out of this 60 pack. Is this my 60 pack or my 30 pack? Y'all forget how many earrings are in here, but this is my assortment of earrings from Timu. I think we're gonna go with these right here. I think this might be the earring combo for tonight. Very cute, very subtle, very understated, but yet very beautiful. And lastly, my lip combo and scent for tonight. My lip combo is my NK Makeup Lip Liner in the shade Coco. Top of my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Chocolate. And as you guys can see, I basically almost have like no lip gloss left. Y'all, I bought this, I want to say end of 2022. I bought it a while ago. I was influenced by a chick on TikTok and I probably won't buy it again. It was, was this $21? Y'all was a lot of money. I can't remember if it was $12 or $21. All I know that it was a price that I normally don't pay for lip gloss. Then for my scent, I'm throwing it back to 2002 with some Love Spell. This is Love Spell inspired body oil that I got from an oil vendor when I was in New Orleans last August. You guys were there, y'all saw it. Y'all, in my opinion, this smells exactly like Love Spell. Like, I put this on, I just like flashbacks of me walking down my high school hallways, just thinking I was so cute, being a fly girl. Oh, the days. Uh, we're dressed and ready, let's go. 